Hi guys, welcome to one of our stretching classes from our 10 part stretching series. I designed this class to help you release any tension from your chest, open it up and contract any muscle tension that you have going on throughout your day. A lot of the stretches we'll be doing today you might have never seen before and that's okay, I'm right here doing them with you. So when you're ready, slip into something comfy, roll out your mat and let's get started. If you can't do this video with me right now, go ahead and save it to your watch later and do it with me whenever you can. Hi guys, alright we're going to go ahead and get started. Just in a comfortable kneeling position, your hips should be up and we're going to go ahead and extend our right foot to the outside of our mat. Once you find this position, step one is to engage that core and when you're ready, go ahead and send your chest forward. Once you've sent your chest forward, we're going to go ahead and extend our arms to the back as if they were wings on a bird and just stay right here, opening up our chest, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Wonderful. Taking two more breaths right here. We're stretching out our arms as far back as possible. Our chest is sweeping through and we're stable. One more breath right here. Stay for the exhale and then slowly come all the way to up. Bring your right knee back in to meet your left and extending our left leg directly to the side of us, engaging your core and slowly sending our chest forward as we extend our wings to the back. Staying right here, breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Wonderful, wonderful job. Take two more breaths right here. On every inhale, you'll lengthen those arms. You allow your chest to sweep through. On every exhale, you surrender into this moment, into this pose. Give me one more breath right here. Wonderful job. Slowly making your way back up, bringing that knee to meet your right. Wonderful. So now I'm going to turn to my side so you can see me better. You can stay where you are. We're going to go ahead and come into camel pose. So step one is going to bring our hands right here behind our hips and stay right here. We're going to take a deep breath in as we tuck in that belly button to protect our spine. And on your exhale, we're just going to go ahead and send our back towards our mat. If you feel like your body will allow it, go ahead and place your hands on your heels gently and then sweep your chest open. Allow your head to dangle. Take three, three deep breaths right here. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Wonderful job. Take two more deep breaths. Last one. Wonderful job. Slowly placing our hands back on our hips and making our way to kneeling position, allowing the blood flow to regulate. Closing our eyes, taking a deep breath in through your nose, deep breath out through your mouth. Wonderful. Once you feel like your blood has regulated and you're not feeling dizzy at all, go ahead and come into a tabletop position. So from this tabletop position, we're going to go ahead and cross our right knee behind our left. Step one is to go ahead and tuck in your belly button to make sure that your core is engaged. This is such an essential step. So only when your core is engaged, you're going to come into your fingertips and then slowly all the way up. Inhale, send your arms all the way up to the sky. Join your hands together. Exhale, back, bend back. If this is too strenuous on your neck, go ahead and interlace your hands behind your head and just breathe. Deep breath in through your nose. <laughs> Deep breath out through your mouth. Wonderful. Two more. Deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Last one. Wonderful, release those hands. 
coming back into that tabletop position, releasing those legs. And we're gonna repeat this exercise now on the opposite side. So crossing that left knee behind our right, finding that core engagement, only then you come into your fingertips and then slowly into your hips. Inhale, send those arms all the way up to the sky, to prayer position. Exhale, bend back. Option to stay right here or interlace your fingers to support your head. Inhale, right here through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. Two more. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your mouth. Last one. Wonderful job. Release those hands. Coming back into that tabletop position. Let's do a cat cow right here to release our spine. Inhale, coming into cow. Exhale, pushing against the floor into cat. And now I want for you to stay right here for three deep breaths to release that spine. Inhale right here. Exhale. Wonderful. Two more. Last one. Wonderful job. So when you're doing any back openers, chest openers, it's so important to do the opposite effect of those exercises to protect our backs. That's why I'm going to have you do a couple of back stretches in between our chest openers. Now coming directly back into a kneeling position, lengthening your spine, you're going to go ahead and allow your toes to come into this tippy toe position. Slowly, we're gonna allow our hips to sit back on our heels. This right here is already a killer for me because it's really stretching out my feet. So if you're a runner or you simply don't stretch out your feet a lot, this is a great exercise to do after your runs. Go ahead and place the palms of your hands just right here behind your feet. And once you come into this position, send your chest and your hips up while sending your head back and just breathe. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your mouth. Give me two more. On your inhale, you send your chest, your hips all the way up to the sky. On your exhale, you surrender. Wonderful. Releasing the pose, sending those hips to your heels slowly making your way up excellent excellent job now we're gonna go ahead and extend both of our legs forward to do the opposite stretch for this just walk your hands all the way down grab a hold of your feet if that's available otherwise just leave them to the side we just want for your spine to curve and stay right here as you take a deep breath in through your nose deep breath out Excellent job, give me two more. Last one. Excellent, walk yourself all the way up. We're gonna go ahead and bend our right knee and just leave it to the side of your mat. We're gonna send our left hand behind us and press our right hand on top of our right knee and simply open our chest through both of our shoulders. So do this rotation and opening your chest through life as if somebody is pulling your chest through a string. And just breathe right here. Deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out. Wonderful job, give me two more. One more. Really shining your chest through and releasing the pose. Go ahead and extend that right foot, give those knees a nice shake and bring that left foot in, bending at the knee, placing our left hand on top of our left knee, placing our right hand directly behind us and shining through. Inhale as you shine your chest and just breathe. Another breath right here, right now. Thank you. 
wonderful job go ahead and release that leg and those arms give those knees a nice shake now we're gonna go ahead and cross our right leg on top of our left and we're going to extend our left hand and cross it on the outside of our right leg placing our right hand directly behind us on an inhale we're going to lengthen our spine on an exhale we're gonna twist our spine and we're gonna stay right here for three breaths inhale as you lengthen exhale as you twist inhale as you lengthen shining that chest through exhale as you twist one more marvelous job go ahead and release those legs coming into the opposite side so bending that left leg across our right placing the outside of our right arm on the outside of our left arm placing our left arm directly behind us inhale as you lengthen exhale as you twist good job give me two more release that pose wonderful job now making our way to lie on our chest we're going to come first into our cobra so just laying on our forearms and shining our chest through and just hold right here breathing in through your nose out through your mouth if this is enough for you stay right here otherwise go ahead and come into your full upward facing dog stay right here if this is enough option to stay right here otherwise come with me bending that right knee moving our right hand to the middle and grabbing a hold of our right foot with our left hand and just shining our chest through breathe with me for three full breaths two last one you got this wonderful job release that foot coming into the opposite side so now moving our left hand to the middle of our chest bending our left leg and then grabbing a hold of our left foot with our right hand and just breathing in right here in through your nose out through your mouth you got this give me two more last one wonderful job release those legs release those arms and that spine coming into your mat go ahead and bring those knees all the way up and just windshield wipe those feet from side to side releasing that spine excellent job now we're going to go ahead and make our way onto our back slowly into our back step one is to go is going to be to just send your head the crown of your head to your mat once you have this position go ahead and cross one leg over the other and slowly lift your legs up coming into fish pose breathing in through your nose out through your mouth one more breath right here Switching the legs. Releasing the legs down. Coming into the palms of our hands slowly. Then coming directly into our child's pose. So opening up our knees, sending our hips back, walking our hands forward, and releasing the head onto your mat. And just stay right here for five deep breaths at your own pace. As we're wrapping up this practice, I want for you to think about three things you're grateful for. 
They don't have to be big. They can be simple. They can be considered unimportant in your daily life. Whatever it is, just think of three things you're grateful for. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. I'm grateful for a healthy body. I'm grateful for being able to move. And I'm grateful for being able to share this wonderful class with so many people who are joining me today. Think of those three things. And slowly walk your hands in. Coming into a comfortable kneeling or seated position. Inhale, sending those arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring them to your heart. Putting a warm smile on your face. Namaste. I will see you next time. If this class served you in any way, please follow me on my Instagram at Sina Karime for further movement and mindfulness content. Thank you so much for stretching with me. Please download our Yoga Plus app for further fitness classes. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. Available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.